So you know there's a lot of wonderful places to visit in Portland and I'm at one of my favorite ones, the Portland Classical Chinese Gardens here with Gloria because this is the Chinese New Year coming up and there's a lot of stuff going on here. Yes there is. This year is lunar year 4706 and it's the year of the rat and the rat is the first animal of the 12 animals in the Chinese zodiac and you can come to the garden and hear a story about why the rat is the first animal of the zodiac. Well, and not only hear that story, but there's just things going on all weekend long. Why don't we start with like uh, the first day and go from there? Yes, we do. We have a plethora of events happening <laughs> at the garden from lion dances that started at 11 o'clock on Saturday and then repeat at 2 o'clock to calligraphy, to music, to coloring for families and children. And on Sunday, we have more storytelling, we have coloring again, but we also have free lantern making that starts at 1 o'clock, um, not at the garden, but very close to the garden, at 315 Northwest Davis. And families of all ages are invited to come and make a free lantern anytime from 1 to 4. We'll assemble the lanterns, and then we'll have our Chinese lions lead us from the Chinese Consolidated Benevolent Hall to the garden for a parade which is usually the closing of Chinese New Year ceremonies in villages all over China. Well, now, you had also mentioned to me, Gloria, something about a, a fuwa, the, the oh, deities. What is that? Yes, yes. This year, we're really pleased. The fuwa are the five mascots of the 2008 Beijing Olympics coming up. And we have uh, the characters for you to color at the garden, as well as a story explaining what each character represents. So come to the garden on Sunday and find out more about the fuwa. Yeah, you can, you can see the pictures of them, but you can also, if you yes. want to learn out what they really mean, you have to come here and, and yes. find out that yes. information. Yes. And, you know, this time of year it is a little chilly, so i got to say the tea house is fully prepared to warm up our guests and with their amazing tea and Chinese New Year snacks. Nice. We do have a lot of activities even at the tea house and in the evenings, and there is um, different events that are located on our website at portlandchinesegarden.org. So, you know, the tea house is warm and there's lots of great stuff there, but some of the things that, that warms me up are plant sales, and you've also got a great one of those coming up, your annual plant sales coming up. We're going to kick over to Judy now, my beautiful co-host, and she's going to be talking with a couple of the employees here about the great plants that they're going to have for sale. Well, I think plant sales are what's going to be the most fun about Chinese New Year weekend here. And I'm with Glenn and Bill, and they're the horticulturists here at the garden, and they are responsible for all these beautiful plants and for selecting the plants in the plant sale. That's right. You know, plants are an important part of any Chinese New Year celebration. Mm. So every year at the garden, we always have a big plant sale, and this year is no exception. So fun. We've got about 2,000 plants we'll be bringing Holy in, cow. over 100 different species. Bill and I have been crisscrossing the state, picking up uh, plants from all sorts of different nurseries, plants that are native to China for the most part. Okay. And we've got a wonderful selection this year. Well, I can't believe the lemons and the kumquats here. They are just beautiful. Well, you know, citrus is a traditional Chinese New Year plant, so we always have a great selection. We bring them up from California, and this year we've got all sorts, lemons, limes, kumquats, uh, the wonderfully strange Buddha's hand is always a favorite. Oh, is that cool? Well, and they're going to smell nice so, so much, too. I think that's one of the great attributes of having citrus in the wintertime. Absolutely. You know, a lot of people are going over to family, to visit families, to see friends during Chinese New Year. It's a common practice to bring a citrus plant as a gift, so that's another reason why we have it at this year's sale. Well, that's a great tradition. And then what else do we have here? I'm just seeing so many different things, and Bill, you were telling me about the narcissus? Yeah, the narcissus are another traditional Chinese New Year plant. Um, they're usually forced to bloom um, at Chinese New Year, and they actually represent um, the immortals and good fortune prosperity in your house. So um, another interesting thing that the Chinese do is they carve them and try and get them to look like animals or Chinese characters. And then what is that beautiful plant? It looks like kind of a juniper that's in that container over there. Well, that's actually a punjing, which is the Chinese word for bonsai. And this year we've uh, had a volunteer, a core get together and build those pots there out of leftover root tiles from the garden's construction and most of the materials were generously donated. And then with the help of our local Punxing master, uh, we had a work party to assemble them all. So they're all built um, by volunteers and uh, it's a real pleasure to have them for sale this year. Well, it's what a nice um, souvenir of the garden to have actual tiles in Absolutely. your container. 
And then I love that little bouquet that's in the container at the end. Yeah, th uh, this year we're going to have um, flower arrangements that are very traditional. And that particular one is a Three Friends of Winter arrangement with pine um, representing the ability to endure and plum representing the ability to persevere and bamboo representing flexibility. And with those three qualities, you can get through just about any winter. Especially this winter, it's been really snowy and cold. <laughs> it has been. <laughs> and then there's just a group of, at the end here, that beautiful osmanthus and the golden pine there. Yeah, we have, uh, osmanthus is of course one of, one of the Chinese favorite plants. Uh, it's a fall blooming plant, so it's really not its time of the year right now. Um, but we do have a good representation of pines this year and dwarf conifers. Uh, the particular pine we have in front there with the striping on it is called a dragon's eye pine. Uh, it's a very interesting pine. And we also have a pine of Sylvester's gold coin, the gold coin moniker being very fitting for mm -hmm. the Chinese New Year. So many pretty things, and I bet there's something for everyone. Uh, you're going to have lots of gardeners down here coming to choose some of these beautiful plants, and some so rare that you don't see at any garden center. So you have to come down to the Portland Classical Chinese Garden Plant Sale this weekend. Yeah, the, the uh, species rhododendrons are really, really interesting and not particularly easy to find. We have a very good selection of them this year. Well, thanks for going out all over the state and finding these things. And please join us down here at the Portland Classical Chinese Garden this weekend. Thanks, you guys. Thank you.